The Supreme Court recently issued a ruling on the latest lawsuit involving the Affordable Care Act. So what does that mean for people with health care coverage under the ACA? Well, today our next guest is here to help us answer this question and tell us what the ruling means for you. Please help me welcome back to the show Mike Brito. He is a healthcare economist and straight talk blog author. Welcome back, Mike. Thank you, Malik. Uh, good morning, everyone. I hope everyone's doing well out there in the world. Yeah, absolutely, and I'm sure they are because, you know, there's a lot of news happening as far as healthcare goes, you know. Let's yes. talk about that latest ruling that the Supreme Court made regarding the Affordable Health Care Act. What can you tell us? Well, the good news is the Affordable Care Act survived another court challenge. You know, it's been in place for over a decade, and the courts have taken several shots at the ACA over the years. This time, the shot went all the way to the Supreme Court. But at the end of the day, the Affordable Care Act survived another challenge, which means about 700,000 people in Louisiana get to keep their health insurance they already had. Some good news there. So that does so no affecting between people who have health care coverage with the ACA, right? Nothing has changed. Yeah, it was an unusual case because they were trying to determine if some parts of the ACA were constitutional the Supreme Court justices never got to that argument because they decided early on that the people bringing the case didn't really have standing. And so they tossed the whole thing without ever saying, yes, it's constitutional or no, it's not, which means that everything that was rolling along before the case came about is still rolling along. So people who have Medicaid because of the ACA or have individual coverage because of the ACA with federal help nothing has changed. It's going to just keep on keeping on. Which is really good to hear because I know many people, especially here in Louisiana, you know, qualify for ACA. So it's good to know nothing has changed. But you know, when you came on last, we were talking about the special enrollment period and yeah. it's still going on right now. Please tell us a little bit more about that enrollment period. And for people who are looking to enroll, how do they do it? Yes, really good news. Um, because of all of the disruption, caused by dealing with COVID over the last couple of years. Early this year, the federal government opened up the healthcare.gov website for those folks who don't get an offer of coverage through their employer. So they can go in there and really apply for coverage any day of the week, any time, all the way through August the 15th. So we have a month and a half or so left in this, what I call a wide open enrollment period. And that gives people an opportunity to go online onto healthcare.gov and apply for coverage and see how much money they qualify for in federal aid. And there's a lot of that out there. Good to know. And like I said, you know, earlier in the segment, you know, healthcare is still a very hot button topic in the news. We still have that. We had that ruling with the ACA. Special enrollment has been extended through August 15. And this American Rescue Plan Act, you know, there are some changes to that as well. What can you tell us about what changes we can see? Yep. Starting on April the 1st, the federal government gave a bunch of federal agencies the authority to spend enormous amounts of money helping people buy health insurance. The bill was called ARPA, the American Rescue Plan Act of 21. And so since April 1st, when you go online to buy individual coverage on healthcare.gov in Louisiana, whereas before they had an income cap, if you made above a certain amount of money, you got nothing. Those caps are gone. And so now you'll get a percentage of your income in health, no matter how much money you make. We've seen federal assistance going as high as $200,000 a year in income. It's a whole new ball game. If you don't get a decent offer or an offer of coverage from your employer, check out healthcare.gov. This is the time to do it. Good note right there. And also it's important to note that it eliminates that first 10,000 of uninsurance, you know, unemployment insurance payments from your taxes in 2020. And do I see the word free? We like the word free. Again, to find out more, if you are eligible for this, make sure you head over to healthcare.gov. But look, I also want to talk to you a little bit more about the COVID-19 vaccine. You yeah. actually wrote an article about it. Please tell us a little bit more about that and why it's so important we get this vaccine. You know, it's an ongoing day-to-day -day battle that we're all fighting right now to help people understand how critical it is that they embrace the new vaccines. They're very safe. All of the data that we've seen after millions and millions of people 
have been vaccinated say it's a very low risk. And if you're unvaccinated, you can potentially become kind of a hotbed, a person who can catch COVID and help a new variant that might be more dangerous to mutate because you weren't vaccinated. You know, don't be a part of that problem. Be a part of the solution, get your shots, and really you're doing it for Louisiana. Our economy is dependent on not having another outbreak of COVID. We had three separate outbreaks in 2020. We really don't wanna go through that again. So please consider being vaccinated. It's important to everyone around you. He is so true. He got it. I got it. And look at yeah. us. We look perfectly fine. Look, Mike, thank you so much for being here as always. And hey, for more information about this topic as far as healthcare, check out getplanoptions.com or straighttalkla.com. You can also give Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana a call at 1 844 Get Blue or follow them on social media at BCBSLA.